हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत एंड वेलकम ऑन सिंपली एक्सीलेंस सो आई एम श्योर यू आर डूइंग ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड वेयर आर वी गोइंग ऑन एडवेंचर्स टू योर एक्सेल इन टूडेज वीडियो इज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट pivot tables but with the difference that we are going to look at pivot tables using multiple sheet that is making a pivot table from more than one sheet in my earlier video we have discussed about pivot tables if you have not gone through that video please go and see those videos on summarizing data and pivot tables today's video is on making a pivot table using more than one sheet before we go on with the step by step process of doing that uh, i would like to put across certain basic concept here which would be needed this which comes from your database fundamentals but here i will just make it very simple the scenario what we are building upon is a scenario where we have a sheet where we have all the customer invoices what we are giving all the invoices which we are giving to our customers and we are recording their invoice number the invoice dates and all those things along with the invoice amount this sheet could have been also an import from your erp system or any other system what you are using within the organization and you have got the invoice masters from there and there is another sheet that is the receipt sheet that is the payments what we have been receiving against these invoices from our customers which is again another sheet where the data can manually be uh, might have been manually entered or it has come from your system whatever case both the sheets one important aspect is the customer invoice number that is the invoice number in the customer invoice sheet in the customer master invoice master sheet we have something called as invoice number here and in the receipts also we have invoice number this comes from the basic concept of databases where we are talking about that a particular <coughs> invoice we cannot may receive money if the invoice does not exist it is a basic principle of uh, business as well now based on that concept the database talks about that customer invoice master where is it generated it is generated the it is generating our one column that is what we call it as a invoice number column which is unique that means every record of invoice number is a different value that is the value of every row for invoice number is unique and in database terminologies we call it as a primary column or a primary field we will keep this till here we are not going into the much of database fundamentals here but this is required watch towards the end of the video watch the whole video and you will see where we need this particular concept and then we have the receipts sheet in the receipt sheets the invoice number can be mul repeated in the sense against a particular customer invoice i might we might receive payments maybe more than one time so if we are receiving the payment more than one time the invoice number is repeating and can be repeated i am saying so but it should match from the customer invoice master that is the invoice number should be there then only we can receive the payment so in the receipts sheet we will call this as a foreign field that means it has to refer to the customer invoice master sheet the invoice number column to get the value in the invoice number column in the receipt sheet then only it will work otherwise it will not work so in the receipt sheet we will call it as a foreign field keep this park this concept because towards throughout the video we will need watch the video to till, till the end and you will see where we are using this concept so primary is primary column is a column where the value is unique so and it will be in a sheet where the value is generated like customer invoice master will give you the invoice number that is the invoice number gets generated in the customer invoice master and the few, the sheet which is using that customer invoice is a receipt sheet so and it can appear multiple times <coughs> now 
what how we will go about doing it is first step is we will convert the tape the data what we have in both the sheets that is in the customer invoice master and the receipts to our friendly tables that is we will convert the data as tables so we will select the data whatever data we have and we will go to home tab format as table and we will choose any table format whatever we want we can we will go to the receipt sheet select the data the same process we can do it using the insert uh, tab as well and say table and click on ok so it will get created but only thing is what let's do one more thing let's give friendly names to both the tables i'm going into customer invoice master after we created this as a table the table tool has opened up on top here you can see and then there is a design tab and we will call this table as let's say cust inv master so that it is easy for us to relate press enter we'll go to receipts sheet we will select this table here sorry for this we will select this table here and table tool design and we will call it as receipts table and okay let's go to a blank sheet here and now we will make a pivot table so we'll go to insert we'll go to pivot table we have created when we are making a pivot table it asks for a table or a range so this time we are not using a range we have a table so we will give the name of the table cust inv master uh, uh, just one minute this is cust uh, okay uh, small error in the name i have used cut okay so now i think it should be okay so i'll go to insert pivot table cust inv master table is there the moment we do this you can see in the pivot table fields you can see all the columns which are there in our customer invoice master as a normal pivot table but we want another table that is we want the receipts table also so we will click on when we go to the pivot table fields and scroll down you will see beside above just above these four panels what we have for filter column rows and values there is something called as more tables you can see more table button here and it says that you are going to create a pivot table with more than one sheet and this will get added into a data table we can go ahead and click on yes <clears throat> and now we can see both the tables available there and we can see customer invoice master and customer receipts and it has created a new sheet it has moved out of sheet 1 and come to sheet 2 so we can ignore sheet 1 now and we will start working in sheet 2 what do we want to see is we want to say okay we want to go to first let's say we want to go to a customer invoice master and customer invoice master we want the project reference so we get all the project references which are there maybe you might want the customer names so you can want you want customer names for every customer you want the project reference and for every project reference you want the invoice numbers so we have for example a bank project reference was this invoice number is this another hal you have this project reference these are the invoices which have been created for this particular project what we want next is the invoice amount so all this we are picking up from the customer invoice master so we want the current invoice amount and it goes as sum of current invoice amount so we come to know that okay this is the invoice amount but now because we have submitted invoices and businesses run on money we need the money to come in and we need to see how much money has come in against which invoice so we had a table what we had talked about in the initial time was the receipts table and in the receipts table we have the received amount so i will click on 
received amount the moment i click on the received amount so i clicked on the received amount which was in the receipts table and receipts table was dependent on your customer invoice master because we were saying the invoice number would be picked up from the customer invoice master we are trying to relate have a relationship the moment that is done excel has understood that there might be a relation there is a relationship which is required between these two sheets and it asks you to create a relationship and you can see this relationship has relationship between tables may be needed uh, as a matter of fact you can create this relationship even before creating the table even before creating the pivot table that i will just show you once i finish this process so we click on create here and it says okay table and column foreign not table just refer back to the fundamental the database concept which i was talking about the primary and the foreign now receipt in the receipts master has a column which is receipt num invoice number sorry as a foreign field as i said that invoice number in the receipt sheet is repeated because you can be repeated because there might be multiple payments against the same invoice where are we generating the invoice number is in the customer invoice master and what is it the primary column is the invoice number which is there and click on ok only thing just one small thing here is in the customer invoice master because invoice number we want to keep it as unique and a primary field we will keep it as a first column always the reason is excel understands that the first column is your primary key so let's come back to the did now if you look at this we have got some information here so we are talking about uh, there is a customer called a bank which had the total project value was 8500 project amount you can see here and the invoice was raised for 8500 but the amount received was 8925 maybe there are some taxes and all those type of things so this way you can summarize all your data from two tables two sheets best provided they have been created as tables and there has to be a common factor between these two tables like in this case invoice number is the common factor between these two tables which is there further we can look at some more things here we can just we don't want the sum of current invoice amount it doesn't look nice as a report so we can change this i can say current invoice amounts we can just change this to invoice amount we can change it to amount received instead of received amount i will just change this to so that in future also this pivot table shows it like we want to let's say sort this data based on a particular value let's say the invoice amount values so we just click on the invoice amount cell in one of them we go to home and we use a normal sort and filter we can just do sort smallest to largest or largest to smallest let's do uh, smallest to largest for the time being and you see the invoices based on smallest to largest we can also use custom filter in this where it says sort options smallest to largest largest to smallest left to right so we can have anyway so we can just say left to right or top to bottom left to right so you can see how the values are getting so amount receipt first and then invoice amount and then you see all the values here so you can sort your pivot table based on this we were talking about creating relationship you can go to your insert tab and sorry you can go to your data tab and before creating the pivot table itself we can create a relationship by going into the data tab and choosing the tables what we have so we can click on new button here 
and we say okay table is receipts please remember foreign is taken first and invoice number related table is your customer invoice that is your primary field that is the second option what we have to select only thing is just remember that the first input has to be with the foreign column and the second input has to be with the and it says the relationship already exists so we don't need to create you can delete this relationship and create this relationship again hope this video was uh, would have given you quite a lot of insight on how to create a pivot table using multiple sheets so that you can summarize information from multiple sheets and see a better output <coughs> rather than creating multiple pivot tables share the video like the video subscribe for the channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so that all the latest updates all the latest videos you get the notification so bye for bye for the time being and thank you see you in the next video